Hello everybody, welcome to the JavaScript course. In this video, I'm going to discuss event delegation. So the meaning of event delegation is that I put an event handler on an ancestor so that the descendants can also use the same handler. In doing so, we can have a situation like this. Any number of the descendants can be controlled by the event handler on the ancestor. So it is a very convenient tool of handling events. Now, let us see the HTML file first. The HTML file has a, a number of things. I have a title here, and then in the body, I have a heading and a division. The division has a number of paragraphs, and the paragraphs are showing some simple statements, and part of it has a strong tag. Okay. And of course, I have to link my JavaScript file to, to the HTML file, and the JavaScript file is called my script.js, which is put in the JS folder. And the hierarchy of the files can be shown on the left hand side. And let us go to the JavaScript file. The JavaScript file has a sentence called use strict at the very beginning because I want to use the strict mode. Okay. Then let us talk about event delegation. We put an event handler on an ancestor so that the descendants can use the same handler. This is the contribution given by capturing and bubbling, so that an element can use the handle of the ancestor. So any number of descendants can be controlled by the same handler on the ancestor. Okay. So the implementation is like this. We put a handle on the element at an upper level. And then when we check the element returned by the event target, we can see that whether it is a required element. If that's the case, we can handle the event. So let's go to the example. I already picked up the uh, division called my diff, which is this division, okay? So I want to pick up this division. And after that, I want to show you something. I want to add event listeners to handle two events. So when I want to put my mouse over the, the division, I want to add the border to one particular paragraph. And when the mouse is removed from a particular paragraph, I want to remove the border. That's why I have to handle this situation by using two functions. Okay, I want to do the two functions. The first one is the add border function. So I want to pick up the closest paragraph element from my event.target indicated by the uh, mouse over action. Okay. So when I put a mouse cursor over the division, I want to pick up the closest possible element uh, from my cursor. Okay. Event.target is meaning the cursor position. And the cursor position gives me the closest possible um, paragraph to handle. So if that element has a tag name called P, capital P, I want to show the dotted border. Okay, that is the first event to handle. So you can see that uh, if the cursor is on top of the strong tag, which is this tag, my target is just giving me the closest possible paragraph, which is the whole uh, line on the web page, rather than just focusing on the unbolded part, like this here. Okay, so if my mouse uh, is put on top of the bold face characters, I'm also able to pick up the closest possible paragraph. Okay, so the idea is the same for the remove border function. So the event object is passed to it. So the event object can help me uh, pick up the closest possible paragraph closest to the mouse out action. Okay. So that means when I leave my cursor out of a certain paragraph, I can pick up that element. So if I can really pick up a paragraph indicated by the tag name, which is the capital letter P, then I set the border to be none. So let, let us see the result. Save. Reload. So when I put my mouse on top of a certain paragraph, I'm able to make the border to be dotted. So when I leave it, I'm able to um, remove the border. And when I put my cursor on another paragraph, I'm able to see the uh, dotted border again on that particular 
paragraph. So you can see that I'm able to do the add border together with the remove border um, functions. So they are put on the division called my div. So you can see that when I put a cursor on top of the paragraphs, the event handlers on the uh, my div element can help us handle the event on the paragraphs. That means no matter how many paragraphs I have put inside the division, um, I'm able to use the same add border and the same remove border functions for all the paragraphs inside my division. Okay, so that is the essence of the event delegation. I don't care the number of elements to handle. As long as I put the event listeners on the uh, ancestors, I'm able to handle um, the events coming from any number of the descendants. Okay, so you can see that uh, when I put my cursor on the strong part, I'm able to do the action because I'm able to choose the closest possible paragraph uh, of my current cursor position. Okay, so even though I put the cursor on the strong tag, I'm also able to pick up the closest possible paragraph. Okay. So when I leave the paragraph, I can just make the border to become none. Okay, so this applies to all the four paragraphs. So even though my cursor is put to this is here, the function still works because the closest possible paragraph is, of course, just the paragraph being handled by the um, cursor. Okay. So this video has already talked about a way to do event delegation. The idea is to put the handler on the element at an upper level. It will check the element returned by the event dot target. Okay. If the event target is our required element, then we can handle the event. So in my example here, the event handler would try to find out the event target. If the event target is our required element, we can do further action. Shown here. Okay. So the so my event target here is referring to the closest possible paragraph according to my cursor position to do the mouse over or the mouse out action. Okay. And after getting that element, I'm able to do further actions on that element. This is the end of the video. If you have any questions about my video, please leave your questions on the comment section below the video. If you like this video, please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.